let's see template number five in template number five you have an objects objects may not be different okay so in previous four problems we have seen that objects are different but here that n objects may not be different okay so duplicates are allowed now in such n objects where a1 type of objects are repeated t1 times and a2 is repeated t2 and ak is repeated tk times okay in such scenario how many different ways you can arrange them in the line so all such objects can be arranged in n factorial by t1 factorial into t2 factorial into so on tk factorial how we will see that so i take three objects a comma b comma c and i take n value 10 that means there are 10 objects and a kind of object is repeated three times b kind of object let's say repeated two times and c kind of object is repeated five times so i'm taking these numbers randomly okay now how many different ways you can arrange them in the line for that usually what i do i take positions isn't it let me take suitable positions we need 10 positions because there are 10 objects now how you arrange this a's and b's and c's in this line I can do systematically correct that systematical way is arrange A's followed by arrange B's followed by arrange C's. So arranging A's is nothing but first of all we have to see the number of A's. We have three A's then we need three positions here isn't it? Let me take three positions from these ten positions first. How many different ways I can select three positions out of ten? So it's a selection problem isn't it? Then that can be done in 10 c3 ways like any three if you want to take any three it's 10 c3 remember it example this is one of the any three right like 1 comma 3 comma 4 once you select it what are you going to do you are going to write a a a correct you are going to fix a's but you can do that in only one way right once you select the positions there is only one way of writing a's so finally the job of doing ta can be done only in 10 c3 ways only here selection matters but after that arrangements is only done arrangements can be done only in one way if you understand that then i can explain you tb so what is tb is arranging b's in the line after arranging a's since a's are three then three positions are gone then remaining positions are seven in seven positions we have to now select two positions so tb can be done in seven c2 ways and ta can be done in 10 c3 ways now come to tc what is tc so arranging five objects in the remaining positions since the remaining positions are five and we have five objects then 5c5 ways we can select five positions after that arrangement can be done in only one way then these are the ways of doing ta tb tc once you know these values and we know that already these tasks are independent wherever you keep a's in the remaining seven positions we can select two positions always in seven to seven c2 ways that's why i say that all these tasks are independent whenever tasks are independent we can apply the product rule according to product rule answer is 10 c3 into 7 c2 into 5 c5 isn't it let's extend this idea to a bigger problem what is bigger problem you have n objects and a1 is repeated t1 times and a2 is repeated t2 times so on isn't it for that our model is n objects a1 is repeated t1 times a2 is repeated t2 times so on ak is repeated tk times then first select positions for object number one then it will be n c t1 since overall positions are n out of them you select t1 positions after that remaining positions are n minus t1 isn't it because t1 are gone then from that you have to select positions for a2 which are nothing but t2 then it will become n minus t1 c t2 then if i extend it for third time it will become n minus t1 minus t2 which are remaining positions out of them select positions for a3 which is nothing but repeated t3 times that's why we have to take t3 positions for that if you extend it that will become n minus t1 this is for selecting positions for first object this is for selecting positions for second object this is for third object by observing the pattern you can say that for third object you have to write n minus t1 minus t2 for selecting the kth object it will be n minus t1 minus t2 so on 
tk minus 1 c the last object tk let's simplify it then you get nc t1 is nothing but n factorial by n minus t1 factorial into t1 factorial isn't it then into n minus t1 c t2 is nothing but n minus t1 factorial by n minus t1 minus t2 factorial into t2 factorial into n minus t1 minus t2 c t3 is nothing but n minus t1 minus t2 factorial by n minus t1 minus t2 minus t3 factorial into t3 factorial so so on the last term will be n minus t1 minus t2 so on tk minus 1 factorial by n minus t1 minus t2 minus t3 so on tk factorial into tk factorial so if you simplify it what happens n minus t1 factorial and n minus t1 factor will be cancelled and n minus t1 minus t2 factorial here and here will be cancelled similarly n minus t1 minus t2 minus t3 factorial is cancelled with the next terms denominator then similarly this n minus t1 minus t2 so on tk minus 1 factor is cancelled by this precedent denominator now the remaining terms if you see you end with n factorial by t1 factorial into t2 factorial so on tk factorial apart from that you see one more term this one n minus t1 minus t2 minus t3 so on tk factorial so we know that t1 plus t2 plus t3 so on tk is nothing but total number of objects isn't it you see here in overall n objects a1 is repeated t1 times a2 repeated t2 times and so on ak repeated tk times then all the objects are finally t1 plus t2 plus so on tk which is nothing but n so i can substitute that here then t1 plus t2 plus so on tk will be n then this term will become n then n minus n will become 0 so 0 factorial so that is nothing but n factorial by so t1 factorial t2 factorial t2 factorial t3 factorial so on tk factorial into 1 that's it so finally it will be simplified to n factorial by t1 factorial t2 factorial t3 factorial so on tk factorial so from now onwards you remember template number 5 is like this you have an objects objects may not be repeated and where a1 type of object is repeated t1 times and a2 type of object is repeated t2 times so on a k type of object is repeated tk times then the total number of arrangements of that n objects equal to n factorial by t1 factorial into t2 factorial into t3 factorial into so on tk factorial that's it now we will see problems related to template number 5 so question number one how many 10 length binary sequences are possible with seven zeros and three ones okay the question is you have to form a binary sequence with 10 positions and that you should have seven zeros and three ones it's like an arrangement of these 10 objects isn't it seven zeros and three ones but if all are different the answer is 10 factorial but there are duplicates 0 is repeated 7 times and 1 is repeated 3 times then how many arrangements possible for the 10 objects is according to template number 5 it will be n factorial that is 10 factorial by repetition number 1 0 is repeated 7 times then 7 factorial times into second repetition 3 so 3 factorial so this is a direct formula isn't it in that way you can solve some questions very easily let's see the second question this question needs an introduction I'll, in, I'll introduce robo so this robo want to travel from 0 0 to 3 3 but robo's capability is at any time either he will go one unit right otherwise one unit up so being at 0 0 he can go to 0 comma 1 otherwise he can go to 1 comma 0 he cannot come back otherwise he cannot go down so being here let's say he cannot go back like this and one more invalid step is going down with these terms and conditions 
how many different ways robo can move from 0 0 to 3 3 so finally the summary is robo can move either one unit right otherwise one unit up but no go back going back there is no going down so whenever this kind of questions are given so just give a thought like how to solve it always my suggestion is first think about some examples like tell me one path first you want to find out all possible paths in this process list out one path first so one path is this one you see isn't it so right 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 and followed by up 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 so i can write like this right 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 up 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 so this is a hint so i converted my path to a string whenever i convert a problem to strings or anything then they can be solvable easily that's one my idea now one more path can be represented as example this one you see up 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 followed by right 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 u u u r r r by writing the solutions i realize that by taking three rights three ups always i can reach this point you try that example let's write uh, alternative rights and ups r u r u r u r u r u r u yes still it is giving so what is my final uh, conclusion to come to this point eventually robo should take three rights that's compulsory that right dimension should be taken completely that means there are three rights right they should be completely taken and three up should be taken but in any way then finally problem is reduced to writing six positions see everywhere every path is nothing but writing six positions where on that six positions we have to write three rights and three ups how many different ways you can write three rights and three ups in the line it's again template number five if all are different then we can arrange that object in six factorial ways out of them this object r is repeated three times then divide by three factorial and object u is repeated three times then three factor ways so this six letters are arranged in six factorial by three factorial into three factor because this object is repeated three times this object is repeated three times isn't it so same formula so in that way you can solve questions related to template number five very easily